If my camera dies, I do apologize. Oh, you're using your one then? I'm gonna use my one. Cause right. it's just, I just love my camera. It's just easy. Um, I'll speak fast. Okay, cool. <laughs> I've just... So sorry. the dot will work out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How did that come about? <laughs> this, this is mine? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> just stole the water. the like idea originally came from but like when Annie was organizing an event with other organizers from here um, they wanted to do this they're like everyone always asks us like what's in the water in Iceland like what's with all these daughters and so they wanted to do like a daughter tribune and what daughter means to us because we're all super proud to say yeah. daughter you yeah. know it's like what does daughter mean to us and it's such like we're proud to wear that name. We're proud to be a part of the daughters. Um, even like the Icelandic national team in soccer, like all those girls, they're all like, they put daughter on the back now. They are all daughters too, but they like wear it with pride. And like people, you see people hashtag it. And if they are like a daughter or not, or they, everyone's like making their own last name, they'll be like, oh, my dad's like Alan. And it's like Alan's daughter, you know? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Get that jazz. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So um, the video that they made was, I don't know if you guys saw it, it was... Yeah, we did. And it's, it went out on one of the vlogs. Wow, I'm so proud of it. And it opens up with Vetis Fimpodotir speaking, who was, in 1980, the first female president in the whole wide world. And she's Icelandic. And then we have the first female prime minister in the world. And then we have all these... And then in, it's probably not like 92 or 6 that we had a pole vaulter. Her name is Vala Flosodotir and she was third at the Olympics. And I think that was the first like athletic, that like a athletic accomplishment from a woman here that made other girls be like, wow, like I want that. Like I want to be like that. And that Annie actually said that she's one of the reasons that she wanted to pole vault. And so it was just amazing. It was something like, we think that we can do everything. Yeah. Probably a little crazy, but we still think we can and we'll go for it regardless. And if we're told like we can't, we're like, all right, watch me. I so like that. that that was the video that came about, and then me and Annie wanted to do a workout that's like a daughter workout. That was our workout, and like we want people to see that and like want to do it. So we want it to be like fun but still challenging. Have like um, like me, Annie, and Sarah. We're all very good at DT. Like whenever DT will come up at the games, we're very likely to be somewhere near the top. Yeah. You know, whether it was like heavy DT or long DT, so we're like, all right, let's pick like those movements and pair them up with something like gymnasty. So we put bar muscle ups in there. Um, so we got to like make a workout that's a daughter workout, and that was such a cool feeling to stand out there, like watch the video, and you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm ready to go. Get fired up. <laughs> it was very inspirational watching Aww. the video. Like it really, like everyone was just pumped after watching it. Yeah. It was really cool. <laughs> I love it. So, today team, we're with two-time fittest on earth. I'm getting that right, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Do you listen to Justin Bieber? Me? Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite song? Uh, we're down, we're down um, here. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep, it's so good. Like and it. that was actually, like, I wasn't a fan at first, because I just, I think he was, like, younger than me, and he was for, like, the younger generation, and then that song came out, and, like, the, a couple in a row came out, and that were, like, you're, like, whoa, like, like, whoa, and then, yeah, like, the third, bangers. fourth, and you're, like, oh, my gosh, he's really good, and, like, I'm a fish, I'm a Justin Bieber fan. Nice. That was a like, turning point for me as well, that song. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> most used emoji. If you go on your phone right now, and in the top left corner, it shows the most used emoji, what would it be? Sammy, you want to answer that? Oh, is it this? I normally go like three in a row. It'll be like paired up. So this one's a good one. And then what I'm proud, I'm a good, the, the fire one's a good one. And yeah. then this one <laughs> with like the mouth after it. Okay, so you're sending those mostly to Sammy? <laughs> they all go to Sammy. I oh, know, I like it. <laughs> Your worst job, you know? Have you, what is the worst thing you've ever done, job wise? <laughs> Given that it's the worst job and it lasts for very long. I um, I delivered newspapers for about two weeks. I worked in a bakery for, again, about two weeks. Nice. Um, so you're one of those people that realizes that you don't want to do that job and then you leave again. 
and then I go do something that I really want to do. Yeah. Now it was more like when you're young, like you're supposed yeah. to have like a summer job or a weekend job, and I would, I would like try out different things. But I really, I was a busy kid. Like I would, my dad lives in London, and my grandparents were either in like Denmark or the States, and um, I would either be doing like summer camps here or summer camps somewhere else and traveling. So. And actually never, like, I was a very busy kid. I'm very busy with um, training, but, it, you know, like, when I was 12, 13, 14, like, you start wanting to be like, oh, like, I want to have a little bit of money for weekends, and I would try out these different, like, weekend jobs. And the um, the newspaper thing was, like, you had to get up so early, which wasn't did my jam you, at that did time. Did you ride a bike to no, send the No, you have to, like, you, you get the whole stack th- filed in, and it goes into, like, Almost like a suitcase that you like drag along and then you go in and put the papers in everywhere. Breaking news, she delivered suitcases. No, <laughs> newspapers out suitcases. of suitcases. You've been around the world. You've been to the CrossFit Games numerous times. What is on your bucket list? What thing do you want to do? Is there anything that sticks in your mind that you're like, oh, I want to go skydive or I want to go and surf? That's one. Wanna... I want to okay. go skydiving. I've been surfing. I want to run a marathon. Um... Here, I'm going to do something. You can't run a marathon. Hey! There we go. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> one day, that, that was the That's one the thing. Spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, that was the one thing um, at the CrossFit Games when he was like, in a marathon, row. I was like, like no, that's, that's no one's bucket list. Like, row yeah. a marathon? I was like, oh, like, if we could just run it, we could all be, like, checking off something off the bucket list. And, like, do that in competition. That would have been, it, he was probably right. Like, he probably wrecked us. Um, especially because on day one, yeah. but that that one I was like a little bummed that we didn't get to run a marathon. That's something that I really want to do. Is there anything else that you want to do? I want to win the CrossFit Games again. I think you can. Wait, hold on. That doesn't work like that. You can't. Oh, it yeah, works like go. that. All yeah. Right. She was saying it before we came in, when people Watch tell her me. she can't, she goes, I'm going to go and do it. <laughs> that's kind of my, that's, my theme of today. That's a great motivation, yeah. One place in the world that you would love to go back to? South Africa. Cape Thailand. Town. Yeah. I love Cape Town. That was like literally when I travel, you're like, well, like check that box. Like I've been there and South Africa was like, oh my gosh, I want to come back. It was amazing. It was like one of the houses that we stayed in. You're literally, it's built inside a mountain. It was beautiful. And then the mountain went right into the water. So you you wake up and you're on this balcony and you'd have breakfast and you're literally like watching the ocean. And like one morning you could see these like whales jumping. I'm not even kidding. Don't tell Jazz because yeah. she, she would get some It reaction. was like, <laughs> no, it was amazing. And then we went to one this one restaurant, it's called Gold, and you guys have to go there. There was live dancing, and they bring, bring out like 13 courses. One is like a traditional Moroccan, one is like traditional, like South African, one is traditional, like wherever, like from like different places in Africa. And they come and like paint you with like African paint, and then they have this like live dance and African music. It's like it makes every like bone in your body want to dance. That's are you so cool. are you a dancer? Absolutely not. But like one of the things <laughs> this year was I never want to say no to anything. Yeah. I'm actually just talking about South Africa. I was saying <laughs> it's, it's the one place that I've traveled that I want to go again. I hear that, and I yeah. recorded that, and I'll drop you an email. <laughs> <laughs> and. And yeah, so I never want to not do things because I'm scared of what someone else will think or I'm scared yeah. that I'll fail or scared that I'll look stupid or I'm scared that someone will think I'm silly. So if I don't want to do something, fine, say no. But yeah. never don't do something because you're scared of someone else's reaction, what they're going to think. And I'm like, that's been like my theme this year. And literally like we're at this restaurant, they're all like dancing, there's music up on stage and they come in there like, they start like pulling Ben, my coach, to come up on stage. He's like, no. And he's like, pick her. And I was like, let's go. And I like go up on stage. I can't dance to save my life. And I didn't even care. It was so it. much fun. And then I, Cole. Did you yeah, guys see saw, the video? Yeah, we saw the video. Cole can dance. Yeah. Like, where the heck did that come from? He yeah. was like doing like a shimmy and stuff. <laughs> but are you, are you like. It was amazing. I posted the video and I was like, I don't even care. No one can see me. Well, I, everyone can just see Cole. <laughs> Speaking about CrossFit a little bit on this, because we do a little bit, what is the one event that you want to do again? If you could do an event again at the CrossFit Games, any single one from any single year that you've been there. The 2012 um, Camp Pendleton. Why? Because it was such, it was number one, just very cool. It was so challenging and I, I did very bad on it. Like it was my, I was freaking out in the water. 
I was walking up the mountain and now it's just like one of those things that I love doing. I love triathlons. I just love a challenge. I love those hard workouts. I love how we fell after, which was horrible actually. <laughs> and I've improved that so much. Like I've been doing so much running and so many tries and I just like, I'd love to go out there and like really improve on a workout like that. You call yourself, <laughs> uh, is it the lion? What's, what, is, what is the thing? The sled dog. The sled dog. Yeah, but then sometimes it changes to like the tiger in competition. <laughs> yeah, just whichever one comes out at the time. Yeah. But basically like for you, what goes through your mind, you know, in your workout, when it, when it gets to that point where you're like, wow, this is real hurting. Do you think of anything? Or are you, are you just like, no, nah, I gotta get it done. Um, do, what do you think? Like what, what keeps you moving? That everyone else is hurting too, and they're gonna slow down, so it's your opportunity to go. Oh, fire. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what? It's good. <laughs> yeah. In I a row. like it. Three in a row. <laughs> right, you're going to be stuck on a desert island with three people. Ooh. Three games athletes. Right, and you have okay. to survive with them, or you could have a good time with them, or you can do whatever. Who are you going to pick? Who are your three? Okay, it's got to be Annie, because she's my best friend. Okay. And then it's got to be Matt, because there's like no one else in this world. It just like gives me sh and then it like it like pushes me this freest way possible. Who would be a good like little ex job with that? Does Matt send like messages to her and say like you're not doing good enough, do better? No, no not like that. No. no What's really he give? How does he give you? Yeah. In that sense, no, we're more like supportive together. siblings. Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah. The two of them. Go at, sometimes I'm like, you maybe need to be a little nicer. Around and he goes, Nah, it's cat. It's cat. It's fine. It's cat. It's yeah. Fine. But yeah, he loves to give her sh So you have stern words back and forth. Yes. Like brother and sister. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Who would be the third? Hard question. Who would be? Sammy? You have to make it to the games, but you never know. <laughs> it doesn't uh, have to be for survival. It can just be... Oh, no. I'm not even... I'm with. just trying to have a good time over yeah. here and stay fit. <laughs> That's a call. Yeah. For the dance moves. Yep. Yeah. So you got to practice those. Yeah. you got to work on it. He's going to teach you. Um, one person that you would really like to meet. Like say on this work, say on the, say on the surf, someone came up to you and said, you can go and meet someone. Who would you go and meet? Who would you go and sit down with and have a dinner with for half an hour and talk through whatever you want? I think John Wooden. I don't know who that is. That's the UCLA basketball coach. My grandpa gave me a book. It's one of my the favorite gifts I've ever gotten was John Wooden's 50 lessons on and off the court and or 50 observations or 50 years of observation on and off the court. And my grandpa's a big basketball player. So he gave nice. me this book and it just like, it was one of those books that I read and it just like, it, so many things clicked for me, like mentally and in regards to like work ethic and you know, how he taught his players to like first and foremost be good characters oh, yeah. and that will lead into being better athletes on nice. the court. And it was just like, he had a great legacy and what he taught. Um, his athletes and even like when he wasn't coaching anymore, he would see like Kareem Abdul. That's one of the best. It was a picture in the book. It's like you could see how he has gotten so old and he needed help walking. And then he has like his ex players come like help him. And it was just like you could see how much they cared. But he was very like stoic and stern. I, don't, I, I like the philosophy. You should you should look into that book. I'll have a look. I'll send it to is you. There, is there a quote or something that you that you would give out there on the channel? Like one of your favorite quotes or something that you stand by or something that someone said to you and it just clicked? Um, there's actually, do you want me to read it for you? There, yeah, it's, not, it. it's actually not the actual book <laughs> I can read it for you. But the, the way that I open my book is a note from my grandma that she once wrote. And it's like, think to the sky, keep your feet on the ground and your heart in the right place. And it goes, remember light up the sky with the rays of appreciation. And that's something that like, to me, that means a lot, like think to the sky, like believe I can do anything. Like whatever you want to do, like go for that. Keep your feet on the ground. Still remember like who you are, why you're doing this, like stay humble. Like you're, you're still on the ground and um, keep your heart in the right place. So just do things with the right intentions and then light up the rays um, day with the rays of appreciation and just be thankful for what you have and where you're at. I like it. Mm. Do you listen to Post Malone? Uh, no, but there is a song. What's the song that like you like jam to on the way, like when we're in Tennessee? Oh, Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations is a yeah, so good song. song. That yeah. gets me hyped. Yeah. What's your hype song? 
Okay, if we're like, this is this is a good question. You should ask everyone this. All right, if you are finishing a marathon, you're like, you have 20 meters left and you're on four feet, you're crawling, like you can't do anything else. You need to finish this marathon. That would like, be me what anyway. what song needs to come on to get you across the finish line? Congratulations. By really? Post Malone. Are you kidding? Yeah, because I'd be, I'd be celebrating once I'm across the line. I'm like, right, I'm celebrating this. Okay, I'm going to have a good time. Um, a heart of a champion. Have you heard that? Maybe. It's so, I think it's Nelly, A Heart of a Champion. You should put you it on right now. It? It's sure, so, sure. just listen to, that's one that I will die before stopping or slowing down. No. Oh. That's, it's Never Give Up. Yeah, that's, that's Nelly, a good one. it is. Yeah, listen to it. This one literally got me to my first game. This one, it reminds me of that too. Really? Like that year, where all I wanted, I put on a bracelet, and I put on a bracelet being like, I want to make the CrossFit Games. Yeah, and literally, like, whenever I was training, like, I'd always see that bracelet and just keep, like, it'd make me, I'd be, like, running, and, like, whenever you're dying and everything is burning, like, I'd see the bracelet and, like, you wouldn't slow down. And this, it's just, like, and Is it the chorus? Song, yes. Hold on. Okay. Did you put on the patch that <laughs> Nelly had? Not yet. I might one day. Yeah, you should dress up like him. There's always, there was always a drop in a song where you go, that's the point where I'm going. Ready? Ain't no way they can stop me now, I'm like, I'm on my way. Even if my blood, my sweat, my tears. It's a hollow champion. I know. Right? <laughs> this one, like, I can't, it can't go on any of my playlists. You can't, like, use this song. Like, when this song comes on, it's like... Can't ever use it. Nope. It's, a, it's like a... Yep. It's a he overuses every song. I use every song. If I like <laughs> he, a song, I'm playing it. He had it. a song on repeat this morning, and I was like, have you got this on loop? Because this is driving <laughs> me insane. Because yeah, I love country music. <laughs> oh. So I love like Post Malone, like Justin Bieber and all that stuff, but yeah. also I like a little bit of country music. Yeah, a little bit. Like, like the vibes. Pick and mix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a joke? Me? Yeah. None. Zero? Yeah. It's Not even one. Like a, let's... Ashton just learned sarcasm. <laughs> you just shouldn't. It's true. You only and just everyone just... has to be like, I'm kidding. And I'm like, oh, I take everything seriously. Yeah. yeah. You just learned sarcasm. Sarcasm? <laughs> that big year. Oh. <laughs> well, it's like gullible. It's written on the ceiling. <laughs> no. Oh, you did actually fall for it. <laughs> just good check. Oh, we would we would have issues because we are so sarcastic all the time. Yeah, it would take us a long time to bond. Yeah. Do you have, uh, yeah, do you have pineapple on pizza? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're one of those. I, <laughs> I would put like cream cheese and pineapple and pepperoni or something like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do the games go by like this? Like, faster than you could ever imagine. Yeah. It seems like it's going to be like you show up on a Monday and you're like, you've been waiting, like you're waiting for it to start. And then like a Tuesday and like you might know what's happening on the Wednesdays so or you're so excited for it to start. And then it just, a little bit of a blink of an eye. It's yeah. Sunday it's morning. It's so fast. It's and it's amazing. crazy because we always, we always talk about it too with Jazz and, and other athletes. It's kind of crazy because it's like the one experience where you want to meet the fans and you want to do, but also you want to be in full oh competition mode because your whole That's... year goes towards that. So then I'm, I always say to Jazz, I'm like, I don't know how they do it because... That's like, super hard. Yeah. Because they're all... It means so much that they're there and you're walking through the beer garden. All you want to do is like you see... Like, especially when there's like little girls there, like I just get like drawn to them and you want to start talking to them and... And then you start taking pictures and you're talking to these people and then you you like you have might have another event or you might be going to an event and you have to be focusing on that and that's why they look up to you and they want you to do well too. So it's this constant like tug of war. So sometimes we do get these like the greeting meets and especially if it's after event, like at night, um, we have some like extra time, but it means so much that they're all there. But again, it's so hard. Some athletes are better at it than others to just like block it out. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but... It's like seeing your family. Who's the fittest person you've ever trained with? Matt Fraser. Other than Matt Fraser, because I was, I was going to say that, but then I thought you'd say Annie then... Thor's daughter. Annie Thor's daughter. Who's one to watch? Do you keep your eye on anyone else or just focus on what you do? Honestly, I don't really think about anyone else. Just you go can't. Do like, thing. everyone is so different, and you're always in, like, different stages and like different strengths and weaknesses and there's always going to be someone that's better at you at something than you're working on your own thing and you're, you just have to make sure that you're in your own best place. Have you had a dodgy haircut? Well, Long, I once had like, I had bangs across. I was like dying to ask my mom for them when I was a kid and then I had them and I hated them. You had what? Like bangs, like, or is, what is yeah, it called? Bangs. Yep. Bangs. bangs. Yep. Like a bangs? fringe? Google it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to Google it. What's your yeah. favorite movie? Okay, there are a couple. Here we go. Um, Good Will Hunting. 
lion. It's so good. And um, there's one, it's actually in French, but like bear with it, put on subtitles because it's one of the best movies ever. It's called um, Untouchables. It's just like, it's this amazing story. Yeah, have you guys seen it? Untouchables. No. It's so, we'll it's like, it's such a great movie. If you could speak another language, which one would it be? Um, For me, we're, we, we're bilingual. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Eng English and sarcasm. Oh. <laughs> there we go. See, I don't have that but one. For, but for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bilingual, but like Icelandic and English. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, Icelandic sounds so, you know when you say like dotter and stuff? Yeah. You like, you can tell there's a completely different twang to like when you speak English. Twang. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Nope. Nope? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Just it like sounds rolls harsh, right? With you, whereas we're just like, daughter. Like, yeah, if we're so yeah. we're so abrasive, <laughs> yeah. daughter. Yeah, um, it sounds cool when you say it. <laughs> so when I was a kid, like my parents would always speak in French in front of me when they didn't want me to understand. So it was like my life mission that like when I was going to learn to speak French, and then I started learning Spanish when I got to college, and that's one that like even though. I've learned Spanish. When I get to Spain, I can't speak to anyone or they don't understand me and I don't understand them. Like I can read a little bit. So that's one that like I love to like live in Barcelona for six months and try and like learn that language. First thing that comes to your mind right now, say it. A ball. Pokeball. All about the food. Pokeball, do you play Pokemon? <laughs> did you grow up playing Pokemon? I did. I had you did? Those, so I was crap at it. I didn't know what I was doing. But I did collect those cards, though. Oh, nice. And I'd try and collect the, the shiny ones. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Which that. one was your favorite one? Do you have a name? Can you remember any of them? Um, I can only remember, like, Pikachu. Pikachu's yeah. going to be. I, my favorite were the ones that were shiny. <laughs> That's how we do it. They're the best ones. Yes. <laughs> Finish off the interview. What was your favorite thing about Iceland? The people. Describe Iceland in three words. Powerful, beautiful, and pure. You know how I would describe it? Amazing CrossFit athletes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we do it. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Hey, I hope you enjoyed thank it. Thank you. We need to put that on. There. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the book that's. Is it on pre-order now? It's on pre-order, and I think it's out August sixth. So right after the games. Um, this has been like one of the most challenging things I've ever worked on, but I'm so proud of it. This, this is, is cool. I can't wait for this to be out. I can't wait to get a signed I'm copy. I'm excited to read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I haven't read, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to break something here. I've never read a book outside of school. Are you kidding? But is I feel like if you, one? Yeah, if you sign a copy, I will read it. That would be such an honor. OK, cool. <laughs> Just not this Either one. that or Sammy needs to make an audiobook. <laughs> yeah, Sammy, can you make an audiobook? <laughs> well, we're going to do that too. Oh, you but are? it would actually be an honor if you like read it. It'll be I'll your read first it. book that you'd read. <laughs> yeah. You must have read something. You did a, you did a newspaper, physio occasionally degree. a men's health magazine. You did a physio degree. You said outside school. Outside school. Yeah. Oh, you, but, outside you need to Do you read school. books? Um, I had the same. I'd never read anything outside of school and I'd I actually never finished a book inside of school either. I was one that read like two thirds of the way through and then you'd be like like spark notes, spark notes, spark notes. It's more fun watching the movie, right, than reading it the book. It is. Yeah. But then like your teacher, she there you know the difference between the mice and men movie and the book? Like there's subtle difference and your teacher would always ask make sure they'd ask about that and see like who watched the movie and who didn't. You'd be like, Oh I love that of mice and men. Was I, the example? And yeah. I, exactly <laughs> I think that's like a, that must be worldwide. That is the yes. book that everyone does at yeah. school. Dustin Hoffman, thank you. I it didn't read the book, book, so yeah. I don't know. I yeah. enjoyed it. Well, I love it. That was fun. Did you enjoy it? I did. Yeah, you had a good time with it? Yeah. All right, awesome. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I mean, I think I had a great time. <laughs> it's a blur, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a blur. You know, it's the same thing like you at the games. Yeah, you know what? I had a good time. This is the favorite interview I've ever done. <laughs> Are you serious? I'll tell you after. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we could do this for hours. No, we <laughs> Until the battery ran out. No, oh. we have to leave. Well, we're, we're close to that, so it was Thanks, great, guys. great timing. What's next for you? you um, I solid have games training? In, no, I have Rogue in two weeks. Nice. So I go back on Tuesday, and I'm just going to keep training. And then um, in two weeks, I have Rogue, and then it's, I mean, I have a week off after Rogue, kind of, and then it's solid game Ramp training. Oh, yeah. Up to it. Oh, yeah. Shit's when you get, get to real. the games, are you ready to go? Oh, are yeah. you like, or do you, do you get to that point sometimes in the games training where you're like, whew, this is hurting? 
Um, do you get emotional going up to the games, I guess, is what I'm trying to ask. Do you get to that point where yes. you're pushing hard and you're like, whoa, this yeah, is I do. It's extreme. And especially, like, I was more, like, mentally tired 2017, and that's the only year that I've been waiting for the games to get here because I couldn't wait for it to be over. And that's what said something wrong. Like, I shouldn't yeah. feel that way. Yeah. And, like, when I perform really well, I'm sad when, like... It's over. When, I, when it's, like, our last training session, I'm always, like... Like, I love training and I love games training. That's, I should be really sad. But at the same time, you know you're ready. You're like, all right, Going here up we to go. It, do you just, are yeah. you in the gym like all day or do you split it into four or five different sessions or are you like a three hour and I'm done or? No, I'm an all day trainer, but, but I kind of, I might do like pool in the morning and then eat breakfast and then have a track session and then have lunch and then do a gym session. So I'll do like lots of sessions, but it's pretty much like. How many hours would you say you train going up to it in like a day? Like six to eight hours. It's like a full-time job. It is, yeah. And you hadn't, you didn't give up after two weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I picked the right well. one this time. Yeah. More successful yeah. than the bakery yeah. and the newspaper delivery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Screw the bakery and the newspaper. We're on to a winner with this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah.